ni o se ti gbo o mu le ro tv agbeye mo fi mo o ke sise ere ni daraya igbe aye awon eniyan janko janko awada ati o ni sele lori sirisi lawujo ile karo oji re yoruba lori ile ide wa ati kakiri agbaye o o mu le ro tv gbogbo igi tebe ki ba fo ba an ko jeje asiko yi o awon olorufe opo mulero tv si alafia mo ba ngan ni an de ku di bale ha akuku ha o ni agbara olorun lati opo mulero tv oruko mi o ni o se oluwa to yin omo tubura ni se bi an ma pe or tun or tun bai o ne ki ojo eyo ni sa wa re ni ori eto wa ni eni awon oya ti gbe kale unga o nyo o nadun o tu wa na rinrin lu se akoko si ma pe abala akojo po iroyin lati anga eka iwo orun ile yoruba won ma koko mu bere ni iyen wa lati owo don commission sa ida ba ti wa kuro ni be awa ne anfani lati gbo ofo lati erun ojo gbo so fi oluwole sugbon da to to be to lu lo pe ibikunle a ka iroyin wa akojo po iroyin kai pile wo run nigeria lati wo don commission to lo pe bi kun le ni oru kan mi ko mi na ipinle ko ogbe ni akinu mi am bodi bi awon oni se owo gbogbo ni ipinle na lati samulu owo ti o to billion lona marun le logun naira ti o wa fun employment fund dada ko mi na ipinle eko ni ijoba o n se agbe kale eto yi lati ran awon odo ipinle na lowo lati mu idagba soke ba ise won ni sise ki won si le da duro lai si isoro kokon ni bi iside eto yi ti o waye ni agege ni gomina n bode ti salaye pe ijoba o n gbe eto yi kale pato fun awon odo lati ni anfani nla lati da duro ki won si mu idagba soke nla ba ipinle na awon eniyan ti o to 500 ni won ti je anfani etu eyawo ti ipinle ondo gbe kale fun idagba soke ipinle na ipese 219.5 million naira gege bi micro credit loan fun awon onise owo international event center ni ayeye ifun ni ni iwe isanwe dowo yi ti waye ti awon eniyan jankan jankan si peju pese si ibe komi no ipinle eko ogbe ni akinwo mi an bode ti fi ase si fi fun awon oluko ile igbe alako bere ijoba ti o to 8617 ni igbe gale nu ise dokita daniel shopen ti o je executive chairman fun lagos state university basic education board chala ye pe eto igbe ga yi ti se awon ona ti o di tele ni awon ile iwe alako bere ipinle na ogbe ni sopo en ni awon oluko ti o to 10851 ni won ko pa ninu idonwe igbegale ni ise yi ti awon 8617 si yege akojo ko awon iroyin kai kinle wo run nigeria lati wo don commission koni ju bai lo ise pupo arambe ti mo veda kai wa pa garada We celebrate our culture and heritage. Yoruba ni baje, Yoruba ni paro. We Yoruba people are the most tolerant in the matter of religion in the entire world. What does it mean to be Yoruba today? How will social, economic, technological, political trends affect the Yoruba? God has chosen the Yoruba nation to do something in the world. 
by giving us the type of culture that he has given us. Our society today is radically different from the way our ancestors conceived it several hundred years ago. What will history say of today's youth in hundred years? There is a limiting intellectual factor in Yoruba land of the 19th century. How we got here should not delay us in this exercise. What matters most is to understand where we are and are headed. To the Yoruba, Aye was esoteric. To the Yoruba, Aye was material. To the Yoruba, Aye was spiritual. But to the Yoruba, Aye was not geographical. Developments in Yoruba land cannot be isolated from contemporary developments in the world. We did not have a globalization agenda, we have a localized agenda. And that was a very big problem. Yoruba it is time that we began to take control of our lives. What is the meaning of fetish? I could remember very well Jesus Christ himself said in the Bible. I want that I want to live with you. I want that I want to live with you. A healthy person does not look for a messy person. Only she is somebody who makes mess. So what is fetish about mess? I am ill. You give me something to drink. I think the world of the medical world, they know that mess is from herbs. Where do you get medicine apart from herbs? The difference is how you prepare it. The difference is what you use for which ailment. But I want the world to ask me, herbs, take herbs away from Western medicine. What do you have? Medicine is about herbs. I'm not talking of surgery and so on. The Yoruba people are very interesting people. They said, The food you eat, which is, more, which is also herbs, is the cause of the disease in your body. So what do you use to cure it? I'm not saying Now, I don't know who will tell me that herbs are not for medicine. I think the problem is that sometimes, in traditional society, when you are giving a material to take, they may ask you to say some incantations. I'm not going to defend that. But taking, making malaria, agbo, concussion, what is fetish about that? I don't know how old I am. I am 80 going to 81. I don't use glasses. I don't know why. Because I use one leaf. Which is vegetable. I take it in the morning, I squeeze it, I drop the water in my eyes. I not use glasses until I die. One single leaf. I will not mention the name. One single leaf. That's it. I was taught a medicine that, you know, I could remember a, a vice chancellor of the University of Lagos uh, was, a, was a professor of medicine. And he, he believed in traditional medicine. So when he launched this book, another professor of medicine scolded him that he should not over-exaggerate the Yoruba medicine. That even for ordinary pile, you have no cure for pile. And there are three stages of pile. 
when you pass a scripture and there's only mucus. That's the time you pass a scripture that's mucus and blood. The third one, which is serious, is when they have to cut away your anus because there's nothing they can do about. But the danger is once it is cut, if it comes back, you must die. Let me say what I'm not supposed to say. Send the last one to me and I will kill it. Instead of cutting, if you see somebody who say not must be cut. And there's only one half for killing it, the back of a tree, just one. I know the problem we have is that we, 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 I think throughout our education, we were not taught to do research. For you to condemn Yoruba hubs, you may. Have you researched into the efficacy? Have they tried it? I could remember very well, the World Health Organization had a branch in the IFE. And they allowed traditional medicine men to come to the university. A particular native man gave a kind of powder something for the treatment of people who cannot sleep. Sedative medicine. An American took the, the medicine to the laboratory. He analyzed all the chemical properties. He called a conference. I said there's nothing that can make somebody sleep in the medicine the man gave him. That's a good man. But the late Professor Akiwawa was there. He agreed. He said, please, sir, you know the chemical properties in the medicine the man gave you? Yes. In Western medicine, none of these properties can cure, can put somebody to sleep. Yes. Sir. When the mess, man gave you the medicine, you, the, the people sleep. He said they slept. Then you are a fool. You know only seven properties that can make you sleep. This man gave you medicine and the man sleep. You must mean that they, that another extra one which you don't know. Otherwise, the medicine will not work. If there is no sedative in the medicine, you use it several times. Each time you use it, the, the man you gave or the woman slept. If what you know is none of the next thing to tell the man, find out and not that. That's the problem. In the West, you believe you know the message for something. That was a case published in the newspaper. Glucoma, according to Western medicine, has no cure. There is no cure. A man from Bifte Meta proved that it has cure. And he cured it. He was suffering from glaucoma. They told him he would go blind. He refused. Eventually, when he got well, he told the whole world, I don't need to hide that. He said, Orobo is the cure. The lady went and discovered it. But let me ask you a question. Can the white man know that Orobo can cure? Do they have Orobo? They don't have Orobo. How can they know what they can do? And so I think the West is actually explaining the stupidity to Africans. I cannot blame the white man for not using Orogbo. Orogbo is not it's in his vicinity. Why don't you go elsewhere and find out whether there is another hub? That was what they did at acupuncture. Acupuncture is just using the ordinary needle to cure cancer. They said the Chinese were magicians. But when they went to study in America today, if you are a doctor and you don't know how to come, sure nobody comes to you. Something is happening among the Yoruba medical men. The Yoruba man does not know it. The only solution try to find out whether it works or not. But uh, the English man is even all right. What of the Yoruba man who dismisses? A professor of medicine told me, Madam, it's only medicine from the world that works. The world knows that they lie. When civil sickle cell, cell was discovered in Nigeria, they knew that only atta is the kind of root when you chew it and you swallow it, you improve. I go back to what I said. Why not to engage the habit of investigation, experiment? The Yoruba says they have a cure for that. Don't accept. Try it. If it doesn't work, but if it works and you don't understand, you are the one to learn. But the African, the Yoruba man himself is only away for tradition. Now these churches, 
who told us that uh, we should not use apple? Are they not from the Jewish tradition? Do they not use herbs in the, the greatest professors of medicine in the world that Jews? I think the problem that we don't know is this. It is on the internet. Go to Israel today. Hmm? Only 2% of the Israelis are Christians. You think that the whole of Israel? No. 2% are Christians. Those are the, I'm sorry, who don't even know where they come from and where they are going. That's where you know. The Jews, they are 80%. They are using method. The 18% are Muslims. They are using method. The two people, and sincerely, if you ask me to, de to define a Christian, I am sorry, I will be rude. Christians are the people who don't know where they come from and where they are going. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. I will say so. <laughs> but I think that is a declaration of ignorance. A good Christian will take mercy. A good Muslim will take mercy. A Yoruba man will take mercy. If your religion is taking you to a level, don't take mercy. We cannot force you. But you have to be careful you are not committing suicide. Civilization must not forget their heroes. Praise, 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 praise the Lord. Today is a great day. The day that we are remembering our mommy, Chief Mrs. Esther Bisoye, tell your show. His Imperial Majesty, that is the name of the most watching ever, and yes, on the TV.
Mama, we are remembering you today. La baro la we ite fisile o baje o. Kabi si no de tojuwa. And we are grateful to God for the part and the seed you have sown. Seed of unity, seed of everything. And so after your death, I was installed before the Alode of a balance. I I give glory to God for a life well lived. Uh, a life that imparted uh, on others, uh, a life, a legacy that we are all enjoying. And as uh, Yalode said, it's not only the Teju shoes that are enjoying this, I'm also enjoying it, and many of us. My man taught me so many things. We must connect the dignity of our past with the opportunities of the present and the possibilities of the future. And that is the reason why we have brought the children to come and listen to, to us here and begin to connect what they will do in the future with what had happened in the past. And that is the reason why we work with uh, the Tejo Show family in bringing this program to life. We are going to be able to Ah, Kuro ni ori e to le ni. Se an wari. Oru komi, o ne o se, o lu wa to yin, o motu burani. Atu kwa de ni, o jo mi, di o lo on, di ka san wa ni de de uba. O davo. Bukwe ni o sheti do, o ho mu le ro TV. A te ye mo fi mo. Okay,